All right, in this video, we're going to tackle kind of a nasty uh, implicit differentiation problem. So we've got the square root of x cubed plus y cubed equals 2y. You have to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So the first thing we're going to do is actually represent this as a exponent. So I'm going to write that as x cubed plus y cubed to the 1 half. Write that as 2y, and then we're going to take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Okay, and so then this becomes, <clears throat> I'm going to be use, using the chain rule here on the, the left side, so it's going to be um, 1 half x cubed plus y cubed to the negative 1 half. So that was the outside part, and then we've got to follow it up with the derivative of the inside part, which is 3x squared plus 3y squared times dy dx. So that's the left side. The right side will just be 2 times dy dx. Okay, so... It's still kind of messy. We've got to get the dy dx terms together. So um, <clears throat> it looks like, I guess, the best that we, we're going to have to distribute it in order to um, kind of make sure we... Well, actually, no. What we can do is we can divide... Eh, now we're just going to, we're going to distribute it. So I'm going to distribute it to two, these two terms. So I end up getting um, 3x squared over 2, all right times x cubed plus y cubed to the negative one half. And then the second term would become three halves y squared times x cubed plus y cubed to the negative one half. And there's a dy dx in there, it's times dy dx. And that equals 2 dy dx. All right, so at least now we can get the terms of the dy dx. Uh, the dy dx is involved together. So we need this, this term and this term to be on the same side. So I guess that means we'll subtract this term from both sides. more writing in this problem than anything. Um, okay, so that leaves on the, the left-hand side 3x squared over 2. And at this point, we can probably turn that um, negative exponent into a radical. So I'm gonna, it's a negative exponent, so it goes down. So I'm going to write it as, uh, just make this 2 look a little bit more even. So this will be x cubed plus y cubed. Okay, um, and then on the other side of the of the equal sign, we've got um, we've got these two terms. They both have a dy dx in them, so I'm going to factor that out. So it's dy dx, and what's left is two minus three halves y squared um, times x cubed plus y cubed to the negative one half. Okay, and then lastly, we've just got to divide both sides by this hideous looking thing right here. So when we do that, we get, <clears throat> so let's see, we'll just write what we get and then clean it up after. So it's three half, uh, 3x squared over 2 square root of x cubed plus y cubed, all of that gets divided by 2 minus 3 halves y squared uh, x cubed plus y cubed to the negative 1 half. That is equal to dy dx. 
Um, so I mean, what now? You could, I mean, it is. This is this is correct. We may not want to leave it like this. Mm, we might um, we might multiply the top and the bottom by x cubed plus y cubed um, to the one half, or the square root of x cubed plus y cubed, just to kind of clear some of these terms. So I'm gonna make myself give, give myself some room for that. So I'm gonna multiply the top and the bottom by x cubed plus y cubed. Uh, the square root of x cubed plus y cubed. It'll make it look a little nicer. So then the top becomes 3x squared over 2. And then the denominator becomes 2 square root of x cubed plus y cubed minus 3 halves y squared and um, that's it because the the square root of x square uh, x cubed plus y cubed is going to um, divide the x cubed plus y cubed to the negative one half. So this is fine. Um, I think any of these representations is fine at, at this point. I guess you could you could times everything through by two maybe, the top and the bottom by two. All right, so if you times the top and the bottom by 2, you end up with 3x squared over 4 square root of x cubed plus y cubed minus 3y squared. This is about as clean as you might want to get it. That should be fine. Anyways, a little bit, a little bit of a mess of a problem, but uh, you know, as long as you're, I think, following the concept. This was from a, for a student who had to, to do this on delta math. Hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully any one of these answers down here uh, gets accepted as correct. So good luck.